Today we'll be learning about geographic thinking or the six elements of geography. The first element is the world in spatial terms. We use spatial thinking to ask questions. In ELA, we write summaries by asking the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. We ask these same questions when thinking about the world in spatial terms. Spatial terms mean where things are located in the world. You can use latitude and longitude, global positioning system, or maps to determine where things are located. What do all the cities have in common on this map? All the cities are located on major bodies of water, either a lake, bay, ocean, or river. The second theme of geography is places and regions. You live in a particular place, Bluffton, South Carolina. The town has a name. Your home has an address. You also live in a region. A region is not a specific place. It is a way of thinking about a group of places that have something in common. You can live in many different regions at the same time. Here are just some of the regions you might live in as a resident of South Carolina. Can you think of any more? You also live in the United States, North America, the Northern Hemisphere, the Western Hemisphere, Eastern Standard Time, and on the East Coast. These are also regions. Physical geography, or physical systems, focuses on processes that shape and change the Earth's surface. Volcanoes and earthquakes are probably the processes you think of first, but there are many others. Do you remember a few years ago when they were adding sand to the beaches on Hilton Head? The wearing away of coastlines by the ocean's waves is a physical process. Most of these processes work very slowly over time. The fourth element is human systems. Geography isn't just the study of where things are. People are central to the study of geography. Human activities such as trade, migration, settlement, and warfare affect where and how people live. Here you can see the history of human migration. As the years progress, the populations of different areas grow and shrink depending on varying, varying factors. The red and the white is how the population is changing. The fifth element is environment and society. We are constantly interacting with our natural environment. Human geographers study how the physical environment shapes the way people live and how human activities change our environment. This could be things like global warming, pollution, climate change, um, the building of cities, erosion, flooding. Everything you see on the news has something to do with how we change the environment or use the Earth's resources. The final element is the uses of geography. Geography opens a window into the world in which we live. We can use geography in the following ways. To interpret the past, analyze the present, and plan for the future. It helps us understand the past in order to make plans for what is to come. We will be using all six elements of geography this year to understand the world around us. Remember them because you will definitely need them again.